I'll give you one little thing that I helped a young man with. There was this sister who he was so interested in. He made a stikhara, he did everything, he asked me. Uh, I asked him for her name. And I went and asked about her and found that she had really bad traits, really bad. So I came back and said, Habibi, she's got very bad traits. Look, it came from an, uh, in a reliable source. You're going to live a life of toxicity. So anyway, alhamdulillah, he tried to forget about her. Three years later, she's still on his mind. Anyway, first I said to him, look, you can't get over it. Khalas, go for it. Why don't you go and ask for her and meet her, even with that trait? Perhaps by getting closer and talking within a family environment, maybe you'll get put off yourself. We went to find out the number, and for three years, guess what? I had the wrong name. I said, Ya Allah, I'm really sorry. Because he made me wait three years. I said, hey, 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 she's still available. Hey, hold on. Maybe Allah has a plan for you. I don't know. Anyway, subhanAllah, he went. We found out, the father. And the emotions that he had was just because he looked at her and he liked her face features. I said, you ask this, you ask that, you ask that, and he let her ask you. If you don't, I want to ask her, tell her about yourself, and then ask her, and what about yourself? In one session, he got put off. Subhanallah. He made the istikhara, he got put off. And subhanallah, that was his healing. Three years. In the end, alhamdulillah, he's free.